Why did Zoro say nothing happened? Zoro's character transformation is subtle but significant. Starting out as a character with such an unstoppable ambition, he'd even cut down his captain if he stood in the way of his goal. And 500 chapters later, that same guy is throwing away his life and discarding his ambition to protect his crew and his captain, stating that, What good is my ambition if I can't even save the life of my captain? Luffy is the man who will become Pirate King. And in Kuma's words, he gives him a taste of hell, a glimpse of Luffy's pain and suffering, and Zoro accepts without hesitation. As the Pirate King's sword, Zoro must be unbreakable. And when you're riding the tracks intersecting at the crossroads of your dream, you don't want to derail the hype train. Zoro knows Luffy too well, and the last thing he'd ever want to be is a burden. Some even believe Zoro actually died, but his soul got lost on the way to the afterlife. Zoro was half dead before, and he was half dead after. Same old, same old. And that's why nothing happened.